Apple about to reveal significantly upgraded Apple TV 4K, report says, David Fellin, Apple TV is a great setup box, but it's been around for a while without any kind of hardware update, it looks like that's going to change any day now, it's about to be upgraded with a much more powerful processor at its heart, this is according to John Prosser, maker of front page tech and, when it comes to leaks, astonishingly accurate in his Apple revelations of late, so a tweet from Prosser bears some examination, here's what he says is happening, Prosser says the new machine is ready to ship, more than any other company, Apple has been determined not to let COVID-19 interrupt its release schedule, in the last few weeks we've seen a new iPad Pro, read my review here, new iPad Pro Magic Keyboard, review here, MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. So, it shouldn't be a surprise that more Apple product is coming our way. The Apple TV box was last updated in September 2017 when the current 4K box was revealed. Since then, support for Dolby Atmos has been added, but no hardware changes have been made. Expect this to be announced in the coming week or two, with shipment straight after, if Prosser is correct. Design it seems the design will be unchanged from before, well, it's a cool look and, frankly, it'll be hidden under or behind your TV most of the time, so maybe it doesn't need a refresh to the look, processor, currently, the Apple TV box is powered with an A10X Fusion processor, a chip that was first seen in the 10.5 inches iPad Pro that was released in June 2017, at the time, it was seen as a pretty powerful engine for a box that was mostly about streaming and only secondarily about apps and games, but, such as the advance of apps and games, a newer processor is needed, it seems, it's going to be the A12X Bionic, apparently, let's take a moment to think about that, this is an incredibly fast processor, in fact, the super fast, Super powerful 2020 iPad Pro is powered by the A12Z Bionic which is only a little more advanced, and is the most powerful processor Apple has ever made, so, isn't this overkill, Prosser thinks, and I agree, that it's all down to the games, as smartphone games have become more sophisticated and demanding, the need for more potent processors has become urgent. Apple is building in future proofing with this move, oh, and by the way, if Apple didn't upgrade the chip, people would be complaining, storage, it looks like the built-in storage is going to be increased, currently, you can choose from 32GB and 64GB models, but it seems that each is going to double to 64GB and 128GB respectively. That's another reflection of the fact that the apps and games these days are more advanced and take up more space. Remote possibilities, the only part of the equation Prosser hasn't revealed is whether the remote control is going to be updated. When it was first revealed it was pretty cutting edge, a slim unit that connected to a lightning cable to recharge the battery. It had a touch sensitive panel that was designed for gaming as well as navigating a useful microphone and volume controls, since then, the only change that's happened was the addition of a white ring around the menu button to make it stand out, thing is, it's pretty good, but it's also quite easy to find yourself overshooting the item you wanted to highlight by mistake, Apple has always been passionate about simplifying stuff and the remote control is no different. Remember the gorgeous aluminum first-generation Apple TV remote? That was superbly simple, too. I have no idea, but my gut feeling is we won't see any changes in the remote. I feel that if big design changes were coming, they'd be on the streaming box, too. Not just the remote, but I may be wrong. When and how much, Prosser thinks it is really imminent. Sort of sometime in May imminent. I get the impression. He thinks the price may start from $149, that would be a $30 price drop compared to the current machine, personally, I wouldn't be surprised if the price remains the same as before, that is, $179 for the smaller capacity box, 
$199 for the larger. There's no mention made of the Apple TV HD. My guess is it might be about to be retired, or the price will be cut below its current $149 price. I'll be reporting on the new Apple TV box the second it's revealed.